Okay guys, so we're gonna try to build a fishing pole here. This is from what we broke, well, what I broke, the Black Max today. This is the end of a two-piece pole. This this one got broke by, by a turtle, I think. This is one of her dad's old ones, but I saved it because I liked it. But that end broke off of there. So what I'm gonna try to do is take this end from the Black Max and I gotta cut them. I'm gonna try to splice them two together. And I'm gonna do that with some shrink tubing. After I cut the ends off, just to get them to fit, and then I'll put some shrink tubing on it. But first, I gotta do something about this eyelet here. And I'll tell you about the idea I got for that here in just a minute. Okay, so what these, they're supposed to have a piece of plastic in it like this. Let me turn you around here. It's supposed to have a piece of plastic like that. And that's what holds that up there. But that plastic is broke off. This is an old rod but I like it and it's better than trying to cast with that deep sea rod well this is kind of a deep sea rod too you can see how huge that thing is there's my thumb but at least I'll be able to cast this somewhat until I can get another rod <clears throat> so since you can't take these plastic pieces out and replace them I'm going to try to solder that into place now what I could do is take one off of my the black max that broke I can cut it and take it off and I put it on here and wrap it but I you need super glue and I can't find any super glue and what I do is I just cut it off clean that off and I put another one on I'll super glue it just tack it in place and then I'll wrap thread sewing thread around it over and over again I'll keep putting a little bit of glue on it over and over and that's pretty much all these older ones are the newer ones now are just that kind of thing right there so um, yeah so the first thing let's do I'm gonna get this plugged in and let it get heated up and we're gonna try to solder this on here from this side so that way you know it doesn't cut the string that plastic is supposed to be more forgiving on your string but I don't think that's going to be I don't think it's sharp enough to cut my string but we'll find out but uh, right now like I said I don't have any well I got super glue but I can't find it so I found the thread I need but I'm just not going to just wrap it with thread I like to put glue on it so but that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do that. And hopefully we can get that fixed. So I'm going to get you set up here where you can see real well. Or, well, the best I can get you to see. And we'll solder this first. And then we'll cut an end off of here. And then end off of here. I might just grind it on the grinder. This is fiberglass. And I'll just go just enough to where this... will slide into there and once it does then we'll figure out which one of these we're going to use to uh, put it together with this one I got because I may have to put a piece on here I don't know to make it a little bigger to for it to hold right but yeah see it's broke there anyway so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. While this is heating up, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to hit them on the grinder real quick. Nothing to see there. And just, just until this will go inside of here. And I'll be back with you guys. Let's let this heat up. Shouldn't take very long. Okay, so I got some of this too. That we're going to help put that together with. And if soldering doesn't work on this... We're going to
we're going to uh, JB weld that too. So first, feels pretty hot, but all right. get some on here first I'm gonna have to run this on the uh, there we go um, I don't know what that is it might be stainless this might not even stick to it so we may have to use the JB weld Nope, totally not gonna stick. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the JB weld out here. This is the stuff that works on pretty much everything. I'm sure it'll work on that. It's gotta wait 24 hours, but I mean, it doesn't take that long to set up, but to put it to use, which we're not going fishing tonight anyway, so. All right. Now. Mixing tray. Ooh. A little more than I wanted, but then you pull this up a little bit and. Looks like more of the stuff came out than the hardener, but and it's a lot more than what I wanted. Seems awful thin compared to the stuff I'm used to using. That's not even hot. Alright, so let's put a dippy dab on there. And we'll put a dippy dab on there. Get some down into the center one. Let me get a toothpick. Probably should have done this first, but let me get a toothpick so I can get it down in the to the center. This should work. I think I've used this before on something like this. Now what we're gonna do is we have to try to get, it says that this tube, we're gonna to try to get this tube up over here. First I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that off because we don't need that much of it. <clears throat> This is going to go all the way up in there, so we're only going to need make sure this will get up over top of that other piece too. Yeah, okay, so we're only going to need 
that much but I got to get it slid over this and then back over top of that then we'll put our epoxy on it yeah see that's I got a box of those with bigger ones than this but I can't find it try to get it lubed up see the problem is this gets fatter as you go down through here I might be able to put it in the freezer and shrink it down a little bit I may try that yeah I should have done this in first before I did this but that's alright so I'm gonna keep messing with this I might see if I got a bigger piece than this but I'm gonna keep messing with this and uh try to get because it's got to go clear up to here at least up to there and then I can slide it back over all right so I'm gonna mess with that and then I'll bring you back once I get this up here and we get ready to put these two pieces together all right guys so I ain't even joking here's what I was talking about my heat shrink tube and it was right in, in the first place I, I looked. It, they weren't there because that's where I keep them. And first, I, they weren't there. I just went back in and I looked. Well, I looked two more times after that, but I just went back in and thought I'd look again. And you know what? There it was. So, all right, let's go ahead and put some of this on here. I'm going to use two pieces this is going to go over top of that and then this is going to go over top of both of them so all right now we're going to put this inside of here just like that I'm going to slide that back because I'm going to heat that up I got to grab my lighter well, I think Monkey's got one over here. Let me go grab my lighter. All right. First, let's make sure that's straight down through there. They're all lined up. And they seem to be. So there's that. Now let's slide this over there. You guys ain't seeing nothing. Probably could use my torch, but I don't know why that's doing that. But it's going to work. All right, I'm going to keep doing this for a minute. Then I'll kick you guys back on. I'll show you what we came up with. Okay, guys, there we go. 
on there I can't pull it out but once that stuff sets up inside there too I just put this on kind of to keep the uh, the the glass the fiberglass from splintering out after a while um, and to help hold it together while this stuff dries overnight so there's what we got um, that's going to dry. I'm not going to put the raw or the real on it tonight, but <clears throat> this is the rod. I'm going to put it on here, put it together just like that. There we go. Now we've got ah, uh, looks like a seven foot rod. So yeah, that's going to be all right. So I'm going to take this back out, let this dry overnight, and you'll see it next time we go fishing. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let that hang while that stuff dries up. And will be ready to go next time. Alright guys, thanks for joining me, thanks for watching. It's about... 40 minutes after 12, so it's 12.40, 12.41 right now. It's another late night video, but yeah, I'm just going to let the weight of that. I may set it on something and then hang something on it. That's probably what I'll do, but yeah, this thing will not pull out, so. And I can't get it to turn, so hopefully it's straight enough. Let me see. Yeah, I think it'll be alright. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Shea Bird, Myth, Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye everyone. Take care.